Hello friends, welcome back, hope you're well, and uh, I'm again exploring some of the new stuff that's coming in the Luminar Neo Fall Upgrade. There's a link down below if you want to pick that up. They've got a great Black, uh, Black Friday sale going already, and I've been diving into some of the features here in this new release, and in this video I'm going to dig into Restoration, which is an AI-based tool, uh, brings your old photos back to life, restores them, uh, removes scratches and tears and all these things also can colorize them it's really powerful really interesting and there's a couple of things i'm finding that i think you want to be aware of now before we go any further a couple of questions i keep getting number one uh this is expected to be released in the uh early part of november i don't have a specific date uh and number two i think the tool is going to be like this and work like this but i'm in a beta copy which means things can change so just keep that in mind that everything that i'm showing you today might look a little bit different uh, but uh, bottom line it's a it's a really good release i'm super excited about it and i think you're really going to love these features let's get into restoration i've got a few uh, images here and you'll notice on the right hand side there's a restoration uh, box right under upscale um, under this enhancement tool category so i'm just going to start with this photo and as I showed in my preview video, you have the ability to do a full restore, just a color restore, or just scratches. Now, um, color means uh, scratches, tears, all that will stay in the photo, and it'll just colorize it. Scratches actually means any imperfections, so uh, creases, rips, uh, stains, holes, all that scratches is just the uh, catch-all category name. Anyway, that will do just that. Or you can do full, which is all of it. I'm going to do full on this one, and we'll jump in. Now, one of the things to be aware of is that I'm finding that each time I do the same photo, I'm getting slightly different results. It's not exactly the same every single time. And this photo uh, will likely, <laughs> we're doing this live, uh, will likely be a good example of that. Okay, and there you go. So you can see here, I've got three different versions, and this is the one that I just did, and that's one I did before I started this video, and that's one I did yesterday. So you can see I'm getting slightly different variations on the photo each time, which is okay because uh, you have the ability to go in and customize things, right? What I mean by that is you can use the editing tools to adjust colors and that sort of thing. So. Um, in this case, it's got the full border all the way around it. So does that one. But this previous one is uh, completely gone. So just keep that in mind that I'm seeing some differences there. But I've got this photo. And if you just take a look at it, it looks really good. I mean, it's been restored beautifully. I think it looks nice. For me, I would want to adjust the colors. Now, you may want to just go black and white, in which case... You could have chosen not to add the color when you did the restoration, or you could go into like the black and white tool and just convert it to a monochrome and make those adjustments. I'm going to keep it with color, and in this case, I'd go into something like color harmony and probably color balance and uh, play around with this until I figured out what it is I wanted the photo to look like. So I'm just kind of making it up as I'm going here live. So this is a little bit of a, you know, watch Jim make a fool of himself on. Um, on video because I don't have a plan for this. And again, it's showing up slightly differently uh, each time. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go into develop and I might actually just cool it off a little bit and actually get away from some of that magenta and take down the saturation and, and vibrance a little bit. Maybe add a little bit of contrast. I, I don't know, but I think that looks pretty nice. So before and after and the full before and after before much more yellow. So that's why in color balance, I was going more towards the blue in each of the tonal areas, but a lot more yellow. And now that looks like something that I would really like uh, like to have if, if, of course, this was a family photo, which it is not. They provided us with a, with a lengthy uh, collection of photos that we can adjust. Um, I would do want to show you this one. Uh, I'm just going to do just a color because uh, actually, let me just show you this real quick full screen. Let me cancel that out. There we go. You can always just click on that X if you want to get rid of a photo. But if you look at this photo, there's no scratches. There's no real uh, imperfections that need to be adjusted. I just don't like this really pinkish red tint. So I'm just going to do a color version. And that restore is going to be uh, pretty quick and easy. And as I said in my preview video, it's taken 15 to 20 seconds or so 
per photo. Again, lots of AI going on, a lot of sort of calculations, but it does depend on the image. And of course, it's going to depend on what hardware you have running on your system. And here it is. And I will bring that full screen. And you know, it did, it did okay. It got rid of some of that red, but not enough for me. So I would go into develop. And this is where it just comes down to like some of your editing. Uh, I'd probably get away from that tint a little bit. I'd probably pull down the saturation and vibrance and maybe come in here. And a couple of simple moves like that, I got rid of most of that red. So that's what it looked like after restoration as is, uh, and as you may recall, and, and that doesn't look bad, uh, but you may recall that it was incredibly rosy pink. So again, I'm getting a little bit different uh, variation each time because this is one that I got before. And I think that looks really good. And I don't believe, yeah, there's no edits that I've done to that. That is just the colorize, uh, color adjusted restoration. Uh, so again, getting a little bit different results each time. Now I'm gonna go in and, and take one that's really, really messed up. I mean, you can see scratches, stains, tears, creases. I mean, it's kind of got the works in terms of uh, things that are kind of wrong with the photo. I'm gonna do a full restore here and we'll take a look at it so that you can kind of see what it's doing to this image. And the other thing I want to point out on this before I show you the final result is on this image, if you take a look at the data over here, this is a modern camera, I imagine, that took a picture of an old photo. So the pixel dimensions are fairly sizable, right? 6720 by 4480. So a good size file. And something I'm finding is that the finished or restored photos are actually smaller pixel dimensions without me doing anything to shrink them. So let me get back to this edited one. And here it is. And you can see here, the pixel dimensions are quite a bit smaller. So I've got a question into the Skylum team about this. I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Now, you do have the ability to use upscale. Uh, and I doubt that you're taking any old photos to make a wall size print but you might want them to be bigger, in which case use upscale, at least in the in the uh, short or midterm. And I'm asking them to see what's going on with the pixel dimensions, but the photo looks nice. I mean, you can see a lot of stuff has been restored. Uh, and again, this would be a color adjustment for me. I would start with temperature and just pulling that temperature down. I mean, it just looks so much better, but I'm also not a big fan of yellows, unless it's like a sunset or a sunflower, right? Uh, still fairly yellow, but that, that looks kind of fantastic, to be honest. And the amount of clarification, maybe that's the word, the cleanup is probably a better word. The amount of cleanup that's gone on in this image is really just unbelievable. I also want to point out, here's another version of that same photo. This one has another edit with develop, also came out slightly yellow. So I get slightly different uh, versions or results, I guess, uh, each time, but really powerful restoration. And this is one that I think it does a great job, and we'll see how it does here. Uh, but I've played with this a couple of times before the video, and you can see, I mean, it's just an absolute, just a god-awful mess of a photo. And, and maybe you have old family photos like that that you need to go adjust. This tool, using all this AI, is really just allowing you to restore the photos, hence the term restoration. Uh, again, it takes a minute. I'm doing full on this one, uh, which is a combination of the color restoration as well as the scratch removal, scratch and dent, uh, scratch and tear and crease and spot and hole. Um, but uh, you get it. So here it is. Take a look at this result. I mean, honestly, that's kind of beautiful. I think it did a really good job. And so that is something that I'm, I'm really pleased with. And I just, uh, you know, I also did it in black and white here. Uh, and I did it in black and white two different times. I want to point this out. That's one. And that's the other one. If you look at them, they're slightly different, not massively, but slightly different, even though I chose the same thing uh, each time. But here in the color version, I think this came out great. Again, a little too many, uh, too many, uh, too much green for me, but those are simple adjustments like uh, just going into develop and adjusting the tint a little bit, get it away from some of the green, maybe get something like that. You can also go into color and you go into HSL and you might go into the, the hue of these greens and just kind of play with that a little bit, make them a little bit more blue and maybe even play with the saturation or luminance. Maybe pull that down just a little bit and you can really have a nice impact on color. That's pretty minor, but again, you have so many tools in Luminar, you can quickly and easily go in and make these adjustments.
I'm gonna show you a couple of more. This one I thought was, uh, did a great job. I'm gonna do full restore as well. But you can see creases down the face in a couple of different areas, just kind of splitting uh, two sides of his face with these creases. And it just, it's a disaster of a photo, but the restoration is actually really good. And here you go. Uh, and you can see I also did it in black and white here, and I did it in color here, and I'm getting different color that time versus this time. So I'm going to come in, and again, it's, it's, a, it's a function of playing with the color tools. This is why uh, learning all these different tools, and Color Harmony for me is one that I probably use the most on the restoration so far. Uh, being able to come in and make those adjustments to temperature and tint, which I do in develop, and I'll start by doing that. Uh, but look at that. I mean, that alone just helped a ton. Um, and honestly, I didn't even need to go to Color Harmony in this case. Before and after, I think that looks completely uh, like it would probably look in real life. So I um, just wanted to point that out. Uh, but again, I want to talk about the pixel dimensions here. If you look at this one, this is 1929 by 2461. So 1900 by 2400, let's call it. And my restoration that I just did here is 1800 by 23 so it's pretty close in that case let's check this one yeah same pixel dimensions and that one same pixel dimension so that one only came down a little bit but i am seeing uh, seen some variance in that and one more uh this one complete tear just an absolutely just destroyed photo but you know if it's your car from the 60s and you really want a better uh photo of it than the old one that you found in a box that's been beat up and weathered by time and all that restoration is the way to go and it just works so so well okay and here's another example of things being slightly different this version is when i did it the first time and this version is what i got just now so again seeing some variants the ai and the algorithms all those techie things i'm sure it's just trying to figure it out right um but honestly i mean <laughs> The bigger thing here is how well it restored the photo. And I mean, honestly, those tears, those rips, all the stuff that was wrong with the photo, it just looks absolutely great. And this one, I'm gonna come in Color Harmony and I'm gonna play a little bit with some colors because I want to get rid of some of those uh, yellows that are a little too much for me. I uh, just need to play around here a little bit. Yeah, look at that. I think that looks pretty darn good before and after. Quick and easy adjustment, powerful restoration. This is what's coming in the fall upgrade to Luminar Neo. Should be out pretty soon, my friends. Stay posted. They're saying early November. I don't have a date yet, but um, I'm pleased, very pleased, in fact, with the results of these. A couple of questions that I have outstanding, as I mentioned in this video and kind of throughout this video, but it's looking really good. I think you're going to be excited about this, and if you have some old family photos, I think the ability to quickly go in and make these kind of come back to life and then make further adjustments if you need to with the tools or even to upscale it with that tool. So much capability, so much power in being able to take old photos, restore them like that. Simple interface, simple tool, really powerful results. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I know you will as well. Don't forget they've got an amazing Black Friday offer going on right now. And you can use coupon code GYMNEX15 to save 15% if you go ahead and get this Luminar upgrade. And I'll be back soon talking about more stuff, including some updates to my workflow in terms of how I'm using these tools. Thanks for watching, my friends. You guys take care. I'll see you next time. And until then, adios.